Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. You know I love mentalism, right? Yeah, this channel, I do mostly reviews for card magic, lots of card magic, and playing cards. Uh, mentalism is probably the top two, probably in that top two. Do some stage magic, parlor magic, uh, you know, throw in coin magic occasionally now and then. Lots of close up, so yeah. Basically all genres of magic. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I cover it all. The latest and the greatest. Today, got another fun one from the 1914. This is Perplexions by Adam Dadswell. What is Perplexions? Um, 1914, lots of mentalism, right? That's probably their, their bread and butter, okay? So when you think mentalism, think 1914. They, got, they, they could build a mentalism career just off their website and their products. They got everything, they got everything you need. ESP cards, wallets, gimmicks, training, stuff with cards, stuff with coins. They got it all, right? They got it all. All right, so what is Perplexions? What is it? Um, I would say it's a beginner's course in kind of dressing classic card plots with mentalism. So uh, if you're into cards, if you, if, you're, if you know your way around cards already, you're probably gonna recognize a lot of these plots. And so maybe if you are already into card magic, but you just haven't really transitioned into mentalism and you're like, that's not my thing, but you've wanted to incorporate maybe some mentalism, this would be a way for you to look at some of those classic card plots with a mentalist eye. Or uh, the other way around, you know, you're a mentalist, but you don't do cards. You're like, I don't, I don't do cards, cards aren't part of my thing, but you're kind of thinking it'd be nice to carry on a deck of cards and be able to do some mentalism style card tricks, uh, Adam Dadswell is gonna help you out. All right, so let's say you pay $24 to the 1914, what are you gonna get? Uh, it's all downloads, right? It's 13 files. 13 files, every single file is, you know, four or five, 10 minutes-ish, somewhere in there. And even though there's 13 files, um, you usually get a performance file, an explanation file, and then he might even have one or two files after that that are kind of like a follow-up or here's another take on it or here's another idea or here's some fine tuning or here's something what you can do with it. Um, you get some little extras in between there. Of course, you always get an intro and an outro to the project as well. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, you're in the 1914 desk kind of office area that we've seen before. Uh, most of it's a table shot because, you know, we're working with cards and a lot of the times these are, you know, tricks that involve a table, but there are some walk around tricks and you'll see some live performances as well, which is really nice. The first trick is called Missing Piece and it's a uh, spectator finds the card routine where uh, you have three of a kind and the spectator finds the fourth one. The next trick is called Mental Trio, and this you can do with three spectators. They're each gonna choose a card from a pile of cards that they have in their hands, and you're gonna reveal what those cards are. The third trick is called Imagination Game, uh, kind of similar to a Chicago Opener. The spectator's gonna have a card selected, lost, it appears face up, and the color changes. The next trick is called Information Void. And in this trick, one card is removed from the spread. It's face down, nobody sees it. It goes right to your pocket. And then the spectator names any card, and that's the card you pull from your pocket. So it's a card to pocket routine. The next trick is called connection test. And this is a simple do as I do effect, uh, very strong. And you're gonna have five different impossible moments where uh, everything lines up, very powerful. Then he's gonna walk you through a mentalist version of the ambitious card. There's another bonus trick in there called Three Decisions Later. And then he even has a file called Utility Moves where he teaches you any slights that were mentioned in the project. Slights and difficulty level, how hard is this? Um, like I said, it's targeted at beginners. So I think this whole project is approaching um, if you don't know anything about cards, right? But you're a mentalist. So you wanna kinda of get into cards. So he's gonna cover everything for you. There's not gonna be any, any slights that he references that he doesn't show you, okay? He's trying to make this at a beginner level. Um, positives, 
These are fun takes on uh, the classic plots and card magic. Fun ways to approach those classic plots, like I mentioned Ambitious Card, I mentioned Chicago Opener. How do you turn those things into mentalism? Adam's gonna kind of dress it all with a mentalist patter and throw in some of his own fun ideas. Negatives, I think I've said throughout this that it really did feel like something that was targeted at beginners. Um, every single file that I watched I was able to recognize the plot as an existing card trick, right? And say like, oh, this is just that, but done mentalist style. And I think only because I kind of move in both worlds, you know, like I mentioned at the beginning of this, card magic and mentalism, that's where I live. So there wasn't anything new here for me, but I did see how somebody who was probably in mentalism, but didn't have card experience would appreciate this or vice versa. Somebody who's pretty adept at cards, at least intermediate, I wouldn't say advanced. I think this is more geared towards beginners and intermediate. But you wanna kinda of put your foot in mentalism, like you're thinking about you know, getting into it, but you're not ready to fully commit, so you still wanna hold on to your cards. You're like, I, I can't let my cards go. Adam will kinda of bridge that gap for you. Is it worth your money? Like I said, it's 24 bucks, and you get 13 files, right? $24 is about the price of an average download now. Sometimes you only get one trick for 20 bucks but here you're getting several. And like I said, it's, it's a download, so you don't need anything. There's no gimmicks, there's no gas. You'll have everything already at your hands and be ready to do a lot of these great tricks, but don't take my word for it. Don't, don't take my word for it. There are plenty of other great channels out there. You should be reviewing them. Uh, case in point, mentalist on a shoestring. If you're into mentalism, especially uh, budget mentalism, get, get behind this guy, follow him, like, subscribe, do all the button pushing. Uh, blow up his channel, make, make him uh, a YouTube star. He's got a great channel and he's doing a lot of great reviews out there. That's everything I wanted to say, everything I wanted to say. So uh, maybe I introduced you to a brand new trick or maybe I answered some questions that you already had. And if that's what I did, then I did you a favor. Now you can do me a favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, mash all those buttons with the finger. Push, 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 please. That, help, that really helps me out a lot. And big, huge thanks to everyone down at the 1914, D. Christopher, everybody down there, they are so gracious and so nice to me. Uh, please patronize them. Like I said, they have everything you need to build a mentalist career. Make sure you go down there and fill up your shopping cart. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning-level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.